Dreballs on DreAllDay.com. Today's daily motivation is about being solution focused, not just problem or complaint focused. Now, this concept comes from well, it comes from a lot of things because a lot of people do a lot of complaining and bitching and whining. And I mean, y'all notice, y'all hear people complaining, bitching, whining all the time because of the line of work that I'm in. Even from you know back in the days when I was basketball focused to now, where I do more uh, personal and professional development, I hear people people tell me about their problems. You know, it's pretty much what people do. People tell me what their problems are, but we work on actually fixing them. This, this is not a this is not therapy. You know, this is not a therapist couch. We just talk about it and you know, hope that it feel you feel better just because you talk about it. No, we work on actually solving problems here. But one thing that I heard. A while back that actually plays a role in this motivation being the message was I heard Stephen A. Smith he's being interviewed somewhere he's done a, a lot of interviews he was being interviewed somewhere he was talking about how I know Stephen A. works for ESPN but there was a time that he was at ESPN then he got fired from ESPN then he came back to ESPN a lot of people don't know that he was out from ESPN for a couple of years then he came back and that's the incarnation that he's in now where he's like maybe the biggest name over there and one of the things that he said was when he got fired from ESPN the first time, he only got fired once, but when he got fired that first time, he said he realized, you know, after he got fired, that one of the reasons why he had gotten fired is because he had become too, he had developed this habit of going to the higher ups, his bosses, with problems and complaints about whatever was going on. Whenever he had a complaint or a problem or something, he would go to them and tell them about it, but he was not bringing them any possible solutions. He was only bringing problems. He wasn't bringing any solutions. And it was like, and I'm paraphrasing what he was saying, but the point he was getting across was like, you can't develop, you can't be a person with a reputation of always, every time you walk in a room, we know we're gonna hear about the problems, but this person's never bringing any solutions. Well, people are gonna wanna get rid of you because who wants to, who wants to talk to that person? All right, how many of you wanna talk to a person where every time they talk to you, they're just telling you about all their problems and they're not offering any possible solutions. They're not even really looking for solutions. They just wanna talk about problems. That's all they do. They just wanna talk about problems. Nobody wants to hear from that person. Even if they're your friend, you don't wanna hear from that person. Eventually, you gotta pull that friend aside and like tell them something like, yo, bro, um, uh, you gotta have, we gotta have to change the tone of these conversations. I can't keep hearing this shit. Uh, unless, unless you happen to be a therapist and they're paying you to listen to them bitch and moan. Other than that, nobody wants to hear that. Uh, you eventually gotta be the type of individual who can bring some type of solutions to the table in a in a situation, just as a person, period. Because nobody wants to, if you're that type of person who's always bringing problems and complaints, but you're never bringing solutions or even looking for solutions, you're not even saying, all right, this is the issue. Let's, can, we, can you help me work through this? This is the problem, can you help me solve this? Because there are plenty of people out there who help you solve a problem, even if they don't, they're unqualified or they don't even know how, they will try. They'll at least offer you something. Most of the time, you're talking to people with any level of uh, intelligence. So, what you all need to get from this is the following. In your own life, even when you're dealing with yourself, forget other people. There will be challenges. There will be things that you have a legitimate reason to complain about. There will be things that happen in your life that you legitimately can complain because somebody is doing wrong, somebody is off, something is not going the way it's supposed to, somebody did not follow through the way they were supposed to follow through, somebody is not doing their job, something is not working the way that you have expected it to work or the way that it was promised to you that it will work and you have a legitimate gripe. All right, these will happen. Some of you got legitimate gripes right now in your life. Here's what you need to do though. Instead of only focusing on why you're upset, why that thing is wrong, why you are, why your schedule is now all messed up, why things are thrown off now because of that person, thing, circumstance, etc. Instead of just focusing on that, your new focus needs to be, what can I do about this? Uh, how can I fix this? How can I address this? How can I handle this? How can I make this no longer be a problem for me? How can I do that? How can I, what kind of solutions can we get to here instead of just focusing on problems? That's the question that you need to be asking yourself in your mind. This is a, a shift in mindset that you need to have. And again, in my line of work, 
I hear from people all the time who are telling me about their uh, problems, their issues, about the things that they can't do or the things they feel like they can't fix or they, they, they cannot change. The issue with this is the more you focus on a problem, the bigger it gets and the more formidable it gets to the point that you are stretching it out of proportion from what it actually is. And when you focus on solutions, usually what you do is you start finding more of them. Whatever you focus on, you create more of. Whenever you ignore, it shrinks and it goes away. So if you ignore looking for solutions, you won't, it, it'll get to a point where you can't even find a solution, where you feel like, well, this is the problem, but I don't know what to do, I'm just stuck. And then you wanna live the rest of your life like that. But if you focus on solutions, then the problem is gonna disappear, but it will stay in perspective as it needs to be which is what you should do with problems. You need to identify a problem as it is, but not make it bigger than it is. And solutions, you wanna gather as many of them as possible. The more you focus on solutions, the more solutions will pop up. It's like brainstorming. Come up with one idea, it might not be the best idea, but it leads to idea number two, three, four, five, six. Eventually idea number nine might be the one that solves the problem. But you gotta be focused on solutions in order to even get there. Everybody get what I'm saying here? So this is your, your concept to take with you today is focusing on solutions not focusing on just problems because the person who just focuses on problems first of all you're going to make yourself depressed and unhappy second of all you're going to drive all the positive happy people away from you because nobody wants to hear that shit i don't care who they are they could be your best friend and if they're your best friend they should pull you aside and be like yo you gotta chill with that shit like uh, we can't this can't be the conversation we have every single time we talk like talk about something positive like bring something to the table here and this is a mental challenge this is not a this has nothing to do with your actual circumstance it has nothing to do with your circumstance okay you could be uh, bankrupt your wife left you uh, you haven't seen your kid in uh, a month two months three months um, you got the government coming after you you got fired from your job and you know somebody's uh, trashing you on social media right now you can still come up with something positive to talk about in a conversation. This is a, men this is a choice, this is a mindset, folks. This is a way of being. This has nothing to do with the actual circumstance of what is literally happening in your life. This is a choice of how you want to approach life and how you want to be in life. Because again, think about it. Would you want to hang with somebody who's always complaining? Would you want to hang around somebody who's, every time you talk to them, they're just telling you all their problems and everything that's wrong, and that's all they do. They're not. And, Nothing else that comes out of their mouth is about anything positive. It's just all about all the, the problems and the issues and what's wrong. All right. At some point, you just are like, all right, I just don't even want to talk to this person anymore. You got a co ever had a coworker like that? All right, it's like to the point where like you let them say what they got to say. You can't stop them from talking, but it's like you don't even say nothing back to them. It's like, all right. Like, at some point, it's nothing else, it's nothing else you can give to them. Like, you already gave them everything you got, and clearly they just want to be this person you eventually want to get away from it. So that's what people will do to you, and that's how you are. And that's what you're going to do to you, and that's how you are with yourself. So you got to check yourself on this. That's the most important person to check. So with that said, folks, that's today's daily motivation. I send out a daily motivation separate message, a text, every day, guaranteed to have you focus, sharp, and on point. Get that message by texting me at my number, 305-384-6894. Every day when that message goes out, you'll be getting it straight to your phone for free. Also, work on your game university. That's where I do all my coaching, all my high-level courses, all my trainings, all my frameworks. If you want to work with me directly, that's the only place I do it is in the university. Excuse me. So go to workonyourgameuniversity.com. You can see what that's about and how you can get started. And make sure you do all the YouTube stuff while you're here. Subscribe, like, share, comment on the video. Let me know the best insight, best idea you got from this. What are you going to do differently? Excuse me. Based on what I said here in today's daily motivation, what what thought got triggered here? What got sparked here? What what changes do you think you need to make based on what I said here today? Let me know in the comment section. And y'all have an amazing day out there. Make sure you are not being a whiner or a complainer. Nobody likes this person. You only like yourself if you're this person. So make sure it's not you. Work on your game. Dre all.